Oh my god, guys, look at this Are you kidding me? Are you f***ing kidding me? Oh my god. What's going on guys, in this one I'm going to show you how to get military grade gear right away as a fresh spawn and scum. This is a beginner's guide, make sure you stay tuned, let's get right into it. It's daylight, thank god, bridge over there, kind of orientate where you are, see if there's anything going on. I hit M for your map, uh, we're over here by a railroad station, which is, this is not actually too bad. Now guys, when you're flying in, make sure you try to hit that map button as quick as possible to find yourself with the little red dot icon. That's where you are, try to fly towards a point of interest. And if you don't know where that is, look for scummap.com and look at the point of interest so you can see kind of where you may want to go. Go ahead and orientate yourself with the keys. You can go faster if you scroll wheel. Hit F. Uh... Ah. All right, I fucked myself up. All right, great. Sometimes all you can say is rub a little dirt on it. Only see one, no big deal. You'll heal. No big deal. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit rocks right away, and we're gonna go with double click that, right click stone knife, and make a knife really quick. So now th there are some good point of interest over here. Um, so we can do that, but I wanna actually go find a bunker. That's kind of the idea here. First thing when you get in, go ahead and right click destroy your card. That's your banking card. That means that players cannot steal money from you. Uh, you can always renew the card once you actually get to the trader. We are actually pretty close to the Z2 bunker. So I'm actually gonna run west straight away and we're gonna try to get in there pretty quick. Now you wanna have some form of a weapon right away. And so go ahead and drag your knife over here. And I wanna make at least, um, for the bunker guys, I'm telling you, the bow is the way to go. Uh, you can run in like a crazy person, like I usually do, and just go with a melee weapon, but uh, it does help to have a bow, so I am gonna quickly make a bow. And so we're gonna go ahead and do the sticks here. Chop these sticks into smaller ones. We're gonna use five sticks to make a rope. So I still need one more stick. We're gonna chop this again. And your best friend starting out is basically going to be um, having a bow and then a hatchet. So we're going to go with that. One, two, three, four, five. Tree bark rope. And then we're going to make a quick satchel really fast. So we can store the arrows that we're going to make and also make the hatchet. So we have a long stick here. We could actually make the hatchet pretty quickly. Um, the rope, I want it nearby me. Where's the rocks? Look for the rocks. And double click. Stone axe head. And this is going to be your best melee weapon to go with when you start out fresh. The wooden spear is pretty freaking garbage, so don't do it. So stone axe head, long stick, and a rope. Craft stone axe head. Now that that's crafted, we'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, you can pretty much dish this knife if you want. Um, we're gonna go ahead and finish up. We're gonna cut our clothing after we cut this hatchet, and this is gonna be a lot more efficient um, than the knife is as far as chopping things. Makes perfect sense, right? So let's go ahead into the crafting menu, and here's what I was trying to show you guys. The survival skill, this is giving me the ability to see this tree opened up and it's not grayed out. See, I can make this improvised backpack here with some rope that I can either craft or find. Improvised sewing kit or finding a sewing kit. Uh, and then you click, if you click these little arrows, it'll show you uh, the different variations of material that you can use to craft the item. And then obviously you could use clean or dirty rags. Always use dirty rags and, for crafting and keep the clean ones. Now, if you auto click uh, this and then hit craft it's gonna automatically take whatever it wants uh, So that's not the best. That's why I like to do the manual crafting like I showed you uh, With making the axe and stuff is so that way I have control of what resources I'm actually using 
Um, and once you get good at the game, you'll kind of remember all the recipes. No big deal. Uh, so let's go ahead and make, we're wanting to make a improvised courier backpack. So I'm going to need three rags, um, rope and a sharp tool, which we have. So I'm going to make the rope out of these sticks and you could cut your clothing and use it, uh, to make rope, uh, out of rag sh rags. Um, you can take the rags, cut them to strips, and then turn the strips into rag rope. But we want to use the clothing for actual um, actual cloth that we need for the backpack. So we go ahead with that. Rope. And by the way, if anything in the video has helped you at all up to this point, please hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can see more from me. I greatly appreciate the support and it helps get the video out to more scum players and people learning the game and wanting to get those tips and tricks. So I appreciate it a lot, guys. And I also wanted to say thank you for the 500 subscribers now that we have on this channel. Thanks to you. You guys are making my dreams come true. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that journey pans out uh, as we continue to grow. So thank you guys so much. Now let's go ahead with this and you can hit the item here in the crafting menu and hit craft and we're going to go ahead and just do with that uh, and wait for it. And I see in the distance over here, there is a hunting stand over there. I'm going to check it out because you may find some really good goodies like a rifle, uh, backpack, something like that. So always, always check the hunting stand, but do realize that you are uh, a target and you are very likely to get sniped. So keep that in mind. Now we went ahead and made our backpack. Let's go ahead and hit uh, cut again. We're gonna make our bow and arrow real quick. Once we do that, we'll be good to go with our defensive tools and that will help us out a lot. So I wanna keep this shirt for some rags. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this again to make a rope. And then we'll be able to make a bow with this long stick. Now, again, it is a little time consuming to, to craft this stuff, but as you play the game, you'll be quicker and quicker like I am here with getting these things done for yourself. So what used to take you 20 minutes could sometimes take you 10 minutes if you get going in a good flow and rhythm. And we're gonna go ahead and craft this uh, bow here. So knife, stick, rope. And I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Maybe I need the knife in my hand. Let's go with that. Put the knife in your hand. And it's still not letting me do it. So for some reason, it's kind of bugged right now. It's not letting me automatically craft um, with the manual crafting here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with the crafting menu and click that. And now click craft. So for some reason, that's bugged. It wouldn't let me manually craft a bow. Don't know why I had all the materials, but that's scum for you. And early access stages. So there you go. Um, let's go ahead and put that sucker in our inventory slot and now we need some arrows So I'm gonna show you a quick way to make arrows. This will actually be a real time saver for you once we start So let's get into that You're gonna want to have at least maybe 10 to 12 arrows um, And you're gonna want to get in the habit of retrieving your arrows So that will help you a lot with replenishing that arrow capacity and so you don't get into a pickle where you are not able to take out an enemy at range. Uh, especially the bomber zombies. Or puppets, as called in this game. The bombers can devastate you and kill you in one blow. Because they literally are rigged to do so. They're rigged to blow. So, hence the name Bomber Zombie. Alright, so here we go. All these arrows, right? Quick trick. So, first what you do is go to the crafting menu, click on the item hit craft the first time okay now here's the trick we're gonna hit alt C and that's gonna auto craft the very last blueprint that we did which was the arrow blueprint so this is saving you time from having to keep clicking in the menu there and of course you can manually craft arrows too but by doing the manual way that I've been showing you but this is a freaking sweet way of doing it and sometimes it'll fail it says action failed, like in the corner there. Uh, but just keep mashing it and you'll get it. Couple more. 
And I think that's it. So now go to your inventory vicinity and look at all these arrows we crafted super fast. Click them, click them, click them, click them, click them like the cookie clicker game. And look at all those arrows, bada boom, bada bing. Now let's go to the hunting stand. Holy shit, look at that. There's a horse. Ooh, baby. Can't ride him, which sucks. Can't ride him. But maybe one day they'll let you, you know? Where'd my hunting stand go? Ah, oh, there it is. There's the hunting stand. And we're gonna climb. And again, guys, we're in the PvP environment. Who knows what'll happen? What do we got here? Oh, a Tang shirt. Let's wear that sucker. So we can stick out like a sore thumb. Awesome. And there you go. Now we want to go again, like I said, bunkers to the west. So right click holds the focus mode here. And you can kind of orientate yourself west. And we're running there. Now I am getting more exhausted here as I run. As you can see, your stamina is ticking down. So like I mentioned, we want to level our camo quicker and recover faster. Holding tab will open this wheel, hit actions, and then hit lay down, okay? This is gonna let you recover, heal, all that good stuff as fast as humanly possible. And you kinda wanna make sure you're in a bush anyway to protect yourself a little bit from being seen. Um, now, I will mention, I just saw that just now, uh, but we have damage to our hands. We have a bleeding, uh, hand abrasion going on from all the crafting we did because they implemented that into the game So we're gonna find gloves as soon as possible off of a puppet uh, even if they're damaged put them on uh, And make sure you get those hand abrasions healing up. They will heal up um, Eventually, but it's it's gonna tick your health down as you can see you got 0.7 uh, HP damage So we don't like that now what I was doing was I was trying to show you okay in this Metabolism menu, okay, here, hit stats, and we can see our stamina recovery, okay? And we have accumulated fatigue change is going towards the positive since we're resting, we're laying down, our stamina is going up. Now we have a max stamina of 54, okay? Uh, so now it just went up to 54 out of 54. So that is what laying down will do for you. It will help you out. And then you've got gear weight here. Uh, we have barely anything on us, but your my max for this guy is 36 kilograms Before we have some real problems uh, and overload penalties, etc uh, Performance score is here. This is your overall performance uh, uh, Units here letting you know how fast you can run walk paddle, etc uh, It's like it says here in the tooltip uh, some of these tooltips are kind of outdated by the way um, but basically if your performance if your performance score is down pretty much everything you do is going to be affected you're going to be a lot more labored when you're running when you're you know walking when you're doing things it's going to be slower and we want a higher performance score uh you can drink energy drinks and things like that to increase your performance score if you find them and that will help you out with that and as well as proper nutrition and resting etc so let's go ahead keep going we have 65 food on uh, how to get out of the position laying down. You just basically move your character with the uh, ASWD keys and you can move and we are decent enough on water and food and taking that basic endurance did help a little bit, I believe. So, and check your, check your location here again. So you don't get, it's easy to get off track in this game. Terrain changes. And if you get chased down by something, it's easy to get lost. Having this compass marker is nice. And we need to rest again real quick. Hold tab, action, lay down. And now our hand abrasions are going to recovery, which is nice. So we're not gonna be bleeding and losing that health, which is great. Now, like I told you guys about the health, um, having a, a lower constitution skill, you know, it. I still, I, you still start at 100 health, you know, that doesn't really affect that. Uh, as far as like actual, uh, you know, blood capacity, stuff like that, I can't, I can't specifically say um, if that 
is going to really be affected or not by having a lower constitution. Uh, we can, of course, experiment further, but you know, your blood volume may or may not be impacted by your constitution score. Uh, I will try to confirm that for you guys at some point if you guys want to know about that. Um, but for now, we're doing all right with what we got. And these are just some trade-offs that you're just going to have to deal with. You know, if you're playing the game, I got to go north now, actually. See, got to go north a little bit and then we'll be at the bunker. But there's a trade-off for everything. This game has got so much to offer um, and your character will increase its stats over time. But if you're a casual player... I really think this is a good build um, and there's no way to increase your intelligence right now I hope they will increase that at some point and change that like kind of like fallout where you could get like a bobblehead or something or read skill books uh, and get some extra skill uh, improvement for intelligence because let's be honest I mean people do still get more intelligent over time they do uh, the average human population may not but you know if you're a go-getter, you certainly can. So, okay, and here we are, the bunker. One of the bunkers. And we definitely are gonna have to be careful. There are mechs and there's potentially players, so. And as you can see, there is a mech patrolling their light over there. I wanna go ahead and calm myself here recover a little bit now the see I'm crouched right now you're still getting a recovery of stamina but it's not as fast and there's a mech right there now I'm in a bush he's not gonna see me in a bush thank God due to from due to some camouflaging now let's go in here for a sec might find some good stuff here who knows Found some food, I think. I, yep, can of corn. Let's go ahead and open the can. Use your sharp tool. You can find good stuff in a bunker. This is not the bunker exactly. We have to get inside still. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. When you eat food, uh, check your health and make sure it's not getting food repulsion, which if you get a 100% food repulsion, you'll throw the item up, which will empty everything in your stomach, uh, including water. So that will make you more dehydrated. Uh, and as we eat, the corn has carbohydrates. This will go up, and you can see with the control here what kind of items you're getting with said item you're eating. Protein, some carbs, fat, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to check vicinity, the metal. I'm going to get the bow out, actually. Scrap metal in here. Um, if we're lucky, the reason I really came in here is because, oh, look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, well, would you look at that? Car, oh my gosh, just car, look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. So we can actually make a stronger bow now with this. So if I'm going to go outside and I'm going to chop a stick and make a stronger bow. That'll help us inside. But as we saw here, look, we still have a dot here, okay? We still have a dot, but when you pull back, you lose the dot. Okay? So that's the difference. If you had a medium archery... The dot would still stay there, and then you could see where you're hitting. But if you pre-aim like we're doing here, and then you go back and pull, you're going to hit where you last aimed and recover your arrow. So it's not a big deal having a basic or no archery skill. Really not a big deal. I'm going to go out there. I'm looking for screwdrivers. Uh, screwdrivers will help us pick the locks in the lockers inside as well as we'll have to find bobby pins or something when you're look when you're in a mech zone like a bunker always always go to third person mode so you can see a little bit more than just the first person perspective i'm going to run back out here i'm going to run right here i'm going to try to cut this really quick hopefully you won't see me i'm going to make that better bow out of that wire. Oh shit. Okay. I gotta put that in here really quick and run over here. And again, could be players anywhere. So stick this and I would need a rope. 
Or do I not? Nope, I don't need a rope because we got wire. Stick and wire. 10 out of 10. I'm going to wait for him to leave me alone. And then I'm going to craft that some bitch right there. Okay. 35 pound bow. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's not working. You gotta do, I got to go in the menu. 35 pound bow. For some reason, it just won't. I don't know why. It keeps saying strap for bow. It won't let me see actual bow. But Whatever. All right. Better bow. Ditch the old one. Take the new one. Make sure you take your axe back. And now we have a stronger bow. Better bow. Okay. Now I'm going to try to get us um, to where we can get inside as quick as safely as possible. Uh oh, he's over there. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we're good. Stay in the trees or the bushes. Uh oh, we got a fucking but we got a fucking fucker coming at us. Fucking fucker. Well, that's the end. Go inside. I'm gonna hide. Kind of here. Neck is right there. Come here, bitch. Got a puppet coming on us here. We got a puppet coming towards us here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. We've alerted the mech, that sucks, but we did find an assault backpack. Oh, would you look at this? So that was worth it. Look at that. Coming in here. Great thing. Gotta be careful. Getting surrounded. Getting surrounded. Getting surrounded. Box of bolts. That's handy. I'm gonna let him come in. Uh oh. Mech. Motherfucker. We're just gonna stay here. Just for a minute. Dangerous place the bunkers are. But definitely worth the danger. He's right there. Look at that shit. <clears throat> I'm going to take that puppet out, though. Miss. Hello. Oh, that didn't hit. Up, oh, four arrows. Damn. Tried to hit him in the face. Not too shabby, though. And that's also why you want more arrows. Now, I could try to recover those arrows, but it ain't worth it. I don't want to die over arrows. I just checked that already. Um, could actually take this for cloth. Anything else here? I'm gonna let, I'm gonna go prone. Because that other guy across the hill might see me. Airplane repair kit. That's good. Wire cutters. That's for use for diffusing bombs. We don't want that right now, though. There's another box of up there. Kind of crawling around. Kind of a weird position to be in, honestly. But I don't want him to see me. 
because we don't want shot. Get back down, boy. All right, let me hurry up. Screwdriver? No. Where is he at? Mac right there. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Get down. They fucking saw me. See, this is a little bit tough, guys. Uh oh. I'm, I, I've attracted some attention, but I might use it to my advantage. Doing it. Going in. Going in. The Last of Us is here. Where's Pedro Pascal? Going in. Close the door. Woo, got heart racing. Close the door, bitch. All right, we're in. Puppet. Hello. Oh, he hit me. Now you can, you can strike him. Damn, dude. He's not dead. That was a headshot. Now, I'm hitting the guy, just so you know, not in the head immediately. Because it does level up your bow skill. Uh, the more arrows you hit. So, uh-oh. We've awakened some attention. I am bleeding. C1 only. I don't usually mess with C1 healing. Now, like you saw there... I punched the zombie. Oh, yes. Look at that shit. We got a armor tactical vest. Very, very useful. I'm going to chop this puppet. And we can make a uh, bone needle out of his needle in case we find some thread in here. That will help us a lot. So we are bleeding, but nothing too sinister. Weeping blood comes merely from a derangement of the tear duct, my dear general. Nothing sinister. And quickly make a bone needle. And we still have five arrows, which kind of sucks. We lost quite a bit of arrows on the puppet outside. Which is why I say you may want more arrows than you think you need. Oh, there's more. All right, pull my arrows back out. I hear some shit. Check. Now, there could be a player in here, just so you know. We're severely undergunned, okay? Severely. Oh, there's one right there. Not a player, but a puppet. Let me look around here. All right, and this isn't... There's no door entry there. I do hear some shit, which means it could be a player. Lock, like I said, don't really need it right now. Duct tape, not important. Well, let's see, do we need duct tape for the armor? No, we don't. We have bolts though, and we have armor. This will help us quite a bit, even though it's 3%, guys, it still will help you a lot. Versus getting shot up. With no armor. Now where'd he go? Armory. Come here, bitch. Yo, you ain't seen the basement, 
bitch. Come to me. Come to me. Headshot. Sometimes I like it when they run at me. Makes a good headshot. There's more of them. I hear them above in the behind doors somewhere. I'm going to take these pants. So we can repair them. All right, we're in. So it looks like this is locked still. And look at that, guys. Pistol. Boom. This is why you want a bunker. Instant gratification, pretty much. Getting some good loot. Pistol. Now we need a mag for the pistol and some 9mm bullets. There, nothing else in here. But I'll take that. You know, I'm okay with that. Because there's another armory. And if we can get some bobby pins, which you can find in these kind of locker things here. Uh, usually... Oh, fuck yeah, guys. Holy shit. Look what we just found. Look what we just fucking found, guys. A hiking backpack. Oh, my God. So good. A hiking backpack. Oh, so good. So impressive. It is so fantastic. I love it. I will send you to Jesus. And I want to try to take this one. And we found some shotgun shields. All right, I'm going to ditch. Mm, I'm going to move some stuff. Hold on. Damn, damn, damn. What can I move? Move this. Uh, I'm gonna move the needle. I mean, not needle, the nail. Move this. And by the way, you can rotate stuff, guys, with holding, con click the item, hold control, and scroll. Scroll wheel, and you can move it. Alright, I don't need this anymore. Don't need that. I'll take this. There. And now, micromanaging inventory a little bit. Let's see what we got in here. Anything else? That was freaking huge, guys. Look how much space is in here. And then I can repair this. We're talking business here. Big business. And what do we got? Reflex sight. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. I'm going to cut this up. I want a clean rag or reasonably clean rag in case we get into trouble. And our recovery is almost done. Like I mentioned about quality, see if this is a higher quality rag, this will heal you better than this, right? Now what I will do, when you get an item like this, go ahead and take it to your quick access and then you can go ahead and whip that thing out with the nice click of a button. All right. Look at that. Now, if we get really lucky and find some bobby pins and some screwdrivers in here, which you still can find in a bunker. And we still have more containers to hit. And that was a drone. And there's an upstairs to this shit, man. Let's clear everything. By the way, if you've been seeing this helpful, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And turn on notifications. So you can see more from me here. And this will spread this information. Among the internet. To those scum players who need a little help. Because we want to build the scum community out. And have a great time. So I appreciate you guys. All right, let's look. Let's look. Usually you can find like night vision goggles, at least in my experience, in uh, crates like these. So, gunpowder, I don't really care. Now, I will loot it though. Now, if you loot certain items, theoretically it's supposed to give you some fame points, but not every item does. 
So the fame system's a little bit wonk. And I can go that way. And let me tell you something, man. A bunker is a nice place to log out. Log out. Log back in. Loot it. Come back. Loot it again. Okay. I'm closing these doors because I don't... Because like I said, somebody could have already... Had the same idea. There's a hat. Want to wear it. Cover our Agent 47 bald ass head. Nothing against bald people, but... Sometimes you need a hat. I keep you from sunburn, you know. There we go, bobby pins. Good. Need those for opening locks. Don't need the duct tape. Now, realistically, I would like to see them let you use duct tape to heal yourself. If we're being real honest about it, duct tape can be used for pretty much a lot of things. Okay. So, and this is the exit. Kind of remember where you left where you came in from i already looted all this i think yeah i did now if i go a little bit below usually some kind of area i'm gonna run through it in case there's anybody here there's a kill box okay there's a little locker right there we could open if we had a screwdriver. And look at that shit. Combat helmet, baby. And gloves. Fuck yeah. America, fuck yeah. Now we don't have to be a little baby whiner about cutting up stuff and getting a blister. Yay. Oh, yeah. Keep it going. All right, so a folding sight. You guys are seeing what's possible down here, right? We got head protection, body protection. We got a gun. We're in business, man. We're doing doing really good right now. All right, I'm gonna close this because they do respawn. There's the door. There we go. All right, we're gonna go through this door here. Actually, wait. What's over here? Let's go through here. Aha, player, or not a player. Puppet. Hello, big boy. Uh-oh, got two. Five shots to the leg, apparently, will kill someone. <laughs> I'm out of arrows. Here's why you want to melee. Come on, bitch. Hey, I pay my rent, bitch. What you got, bitch? All right, you're done. You're done. You're done for. Look behind each me real quick. Oh, that's a good one. Four percent. Stepping up in the world. Oh, wait, no, give me that one. Yep, four percent. Now we could heal that up, uh, and that'd be nice because we could get some extra storage capacity. Could be people lurking in these rooms. There's a little army helmet you could use. Um, but we have a way better one. Thanks to our looting. Quick check. Quick check. People like to hide back here. Behind this. Ah! Oh! The fuck? Oh, God. He scared the shit out of me. I thought I was a player. I was fucking ready. Uh-oh. Oh! Wait a minute. Run. Run. I'm going to show you a quick trick, actually. I'm pistol whipping this bitch. And that still works as a melee weapon, by the way. In case you didn't know that. Middle mouse button, pistol whip, or with a shotgun or whatever, rifle, will work to kill a player. I'm going to take this jacket, and then maybe I can mend it, and then that would be nice. 
Gotta get more arrows, dude. Shit, I'm telling you. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door back here. Always close yourself kind of in there. Because... You never know who's lurking. And you don't want the puppets to respawn. Okay, we got clothing. Raincoat is a good tool to have. Extra inventory. Extra space. Sometimes you'll find backpacks in the bathroom. And what I really want to find, which is really useful... Well, guy's getting really hot. 36.8. Nah, he's alright. Not bad. Close the doors behind you. Letting you search these. That's kind of nice. You want... Oh, look at that I fucking just said. Look what I just said. Look what the fuck I just said. Look at that shit. Oh, would you look at that? You got under? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that shit. What? It, you see this, guys? Official servers. You little crybaby whiner sissy babies who say, There's no loot on official servers. There's no loot. I can't find it. I can't find any loot. I can't find any loot on servers. There's a fucking loot. Congratulations. Look at that shit. We got two fucking hiking bags, dude. Two. Two of them. So don't sit there and tell me there's no loot on official servers. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it anymore. No more. And I'm going to ditch that. That would probably sell pretty good, though. Now, I'm not trying to be a dick or whatever, but I am. But... The fact is, there is plenty of loot on official servers. I'm proving it. It's fucking proof. So any of you guys out there on your little forums on Reddit or Scum forums or Steam forums, cry and complain. There's no loot. There's your fucking loot. I want all these bags. This is management, guys. Inventory management. That's scum for you. Man, I don't have enough room. Damn, can't do it. All right, well, I'm going to try to come back for it. We can repair something. We can come back for this bag. And that'll be super nice. Telling you guys, you got to go to a bunker. And the way you can find bunkers, by the way, is if you go to a site called Scum Map, uh, you can go ahead and see some of the point of interest. Bunkers, stuff like that. And you can kind of see in each sector... What is out there? So, yeah, that's how you do it. And what we can do, guys, is we could sell these backpacks, these extra ones, right? And make some moolah at the trader. It's a long, another another box of pins. It's a long freaking way, but it might another pin box. I'm not taking it though. Might be worth it. You know? Let me close the door. Might be worth the run. We're gonna have to do it at some point so we can get some money. Because you need money to respawn in the sector, guys. Oh, look at that. Glasses. Of course, we want to look like Leon the professional. Why not? No women, no kids. Everything you need is in a bunker, man. And maybe we can find a soda. Not, not right now. What do we got here? Another, another pair of glasses. I'll we'll equip those instead. Batteries are for night vision goggles and other things. You can use them to charge cars. You can use them to also add charge to a car battery, I believe. And get your car jumped. More pins. Piece of paper. Letter of resignation. Alright. As you see, guys, I'm also, like... I'm also doing the whole, uh... Shutting the doors behind me thing. And I'm going to first-person mode. When I'm going into rooms, so it helps you fight better. If you need to. 
A lot of people like to hide behind these freaking curtains and log out and then log back in and surprise your ass. Oh, what is that? Battery? See? Smartphone battery. And this is if we had, again, another place you can unlock some good stuff, potentially. And look here, we found some scissors. Now, scissors, guys, is a really good tool. You need these. You need scissors because I'm telling you. It helps you cut your items up so much better. And you can get more rags. And what is this? Ballpoint pen. And there is a box right there that has good medical supplies you can unlock. Okay. And I'm really hoping for some screwdrivers, man. Really hoping for it. Give me give me a screwdriver. One more spot I might get one, and that's probably here. Uh, water. That works. High quality H2O. Helps. Uh, I'm gonna drink that. But man, we are geared up, man. We have geared ourselves very, very well in this bunker in this one run. One amazing run. It's great. You can keep the bottle if you want. Um, you can fill it back up. If you need to. Have we been in here? We've we been in here. So much shit, guys, to get. I'm telling you. Sometimes you'll triple loot the same shit. And it's worth it, because sometimes you might miss something. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yes. This is gold, my friends. Fuck yeah, dude. Antibiotics, you need these people. Oh, and I'm overheating. Oh, I'm almost to C2. Hyperthermia, I gotta take some layers off. Uh, I'm gonna ditch the shirt. And I'm gonna take the socks off. Almost overheating. Which means you can pass out. Not good. No good. But putting all this stuff on definitely gets you hot, so... Not in a good way. And I think we should be okay. Yep. We're getting better. Getting better. Okay. But dude, those antibiotics. Oh my god. Look at this shit, man. Holy shit, I'm fucking scoring. Another. These are worth some good fucking money, dude. They're worth, they're, they're like five grand, I believe, at the trader to buy some. So if you get an infection, you get a bleed on you with a little germ diseased marker from a puppet. Dude, you're going to wish you had those. Because you will die. And I have died from infection on this game. And it is one of the dumbest ways to die. But those are incredible. So this has been a excellent run. I'm impressed. I'm proud. I'm proud of this run. Alright, and uh, we're going to go ahead and see if... I believe there was like an upstairs. Oh, fuck. They're coming back. Fuckers are spawning again. Found some ammo on their ass, but I don't really want to deal with that. Low quality ammo. Mm, somebody up top. Be very careful. Stackable nail. Another bathroom.
Found some boots. And look at that. MRE. Very good news. Let's wear these boots. To eat this MRE. Man, I'm fucking telling you, man. A bunker has got everything you need. Everything. Today was a productive damn day. Gonna get our food up. Gonna get our water up. Good news, man. Damn, damn, damn. This is good shit. Oh, no. Fuck. And that. Damn it. I fucked myself up. Damn it. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Son of a bitch. All right. And that's why you got to pay attention to food repulsion. God damn it. Ah, oh, man. That was a perfectly good food. I wasted it. So what I should have done was I should have hit escape. But I was too busy being in my glory food. My food coma. Wasted of food. Man, that sucks. Oh well. But you saw that I would have... I would have had food. But I didn't screw it up. But, you know. Okay, and we're gonna have to hit this bitch. A lot. Oh. All right, and that's how you handle them. Wish I had more arrows, man. Oh, another one. Got to move in and out. Bob and weave. Oh. What the fuck was that? What the hell? Oh my god, guys, look at this shit. Are you kidding me? How are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Holy shit. Look at this, guys. Another fucking hiking backpack? I got fucking three, bro. Are you kidding me? Bro. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> dude, no way. No way. How is this happening, dude? No way, dude. No way. What the fuck, dude? I can't even believe it. I can't even fucking believe this shit. So all you motherfuckers who say there's no loot in fucking scum, official servers, get fucked, dude. Because look at this shit. I got three fucking hiking backpacks from one run. Official servers. Official. Official. Found this one in this little cabinet, dude. So never forget to loot everything, dude. Everything is loot. No matter what little crevice or cranny, you fucking loot it. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Unbelievable. 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 All right, and we're going to be a little bit greedy here. And we're going to see... We're going to see what else we can find.
No fucking way. No fucking way, dude. Thread? No way. No way. Unbelievable. Look at this luck, dude. Unbelievable. This is unreal. All right. Thread. Needle. Improvised sewing kit. And guess what the fuck we're gonna do now? We're gonna repair some shit. And we're gonna have so much fucking space, you're gonna wanna slap your mama. I'm like, how are the biscuits and gravy? Oh, they make you wanna slap your mama. Then I don't think I'm gonna get the biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Being my mama's here and all, that would be kinda awkward. <laughs> mama, you might wanna go out in the car for a while. Yeah, a couple more bites, I'm gonna have to throw down. You know what I'm talking about? These are delicious. All right, watch this shit. Watch this shit. Where are those boots? Yeah, here we go, combat boots, equip. Repair. But before that, we're gonna repair this jacket, if I can. Oh, I left it in here, on the floor. There it is. Dropped it. Anyway, there it is. We're gonna repair this tactical jacket. This could not get any better, dude. Okay. That's repaired at least 50%. We're gonna repair... I can't repair the armor. Because it's technically gonna need a toolbox. But we're gonna also repair these combat boots. That's going to give us a slot. Then, we're going to wear these military pants. I'm going to repair them. And boom, look at all this fucking space, dude. Look at this space, dude. Holy shit. shit, shit, shit. Unreal. Okay? Unreal. It's unbelievable. And I honestly, I like this backpack pretty good. So I'm actually going to take that one. And if we lose this one, I don't give a shit. But we're going to take that. And I'm telling you, man. Official servers, dude. Official. Okay. Official servers. I can't believe it. So we're going to sell some of these backpacks, obviously, can't or, or bury them, but I'm going to sell them. And this has been it, man. This is scum, dude. This is official servers, bunker run, first one in on this character. You saw it. Have fun with scum, man, and help others find this game and enjoy themselves as well by hitting that like button. Turn on notifications so you can see more scum guides and playthroughs. And remember, the alpha.